amigos? This is Cisco Kid. Come ride with Pancho and me on this exciting adventure which we have called Much Ado About Mavericks. The town of Cottonwood, Arizona, like any other frontier town in the territory, was a sleepy, lethargic place on the dusty summer afternoons in the 1870s. It was therefore hardly to be expected that the arrival of a mild-mannered, immaculately dressed Easterner would cause the riotous commotion it did. Hey, Coke, would you look at what's riding up on the box alongside the stagecoach driver? Uh, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes, Laramie. <laughs> Why, that dude's plum loco, wearing a high silk hat and a swallow tail coat in this part of the country. Now, uh, why would an hombre like that be stopping off in a town like Cottonwood? Huh? All right, folks, here we go. Goodbye, Mr. Hawks. For me to dust off the sidewalk for you so you won't dirty your pretty patent leather shoes, uh, Mr. Uh... Homer Hotchkiss. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Uh, uh... Uh, Coke Jeffers. This here hombre is Laramie Kittredge. How do you do, Mr. Jeffers? Mr. Kittredge. I'm pleased. I, I mean, I, uh... Well, it's been a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Good day, sir. And you, sir. The pleasure is all ours, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> Merciful, merciful heavens, what happened? Merciful heavens. <laughs> Look, there is hair on that head and it ain't egg-shaped. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, I don't understand. <laughs> he don't understand. Uh, come on, Mr. Kitred. <laughs> sure, Mr. Jeffers. We got to help Mr. Homer Hotchkiss understand. <laughs> and it's just what we're going to do, <laughs> Mr. Hotchkiss. Right in this here water and... <laughs> 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 sh- 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 shame on you, you, you gentlemen, to treat a stranger in such an uncouth fashion. Oh, 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 uncouth fashion! Oh, hey, 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 what in front? Hey, it's Cordelia. Cordelia Prompton. Now, now, now. All right, Laramie. You too, Coke. Wall eyed mavericks had your fun. Now get. Oh, oh, please. Please pardon my appearance, madam. No, no, no. Put up that gun, Cordelia, before you hurt yourself. Get up, said no, Vamu. Hey, hey, come on, Army. And the next time you try anything like this, I'll put a laugh on the other side of your face, you lily livered fool. Oh, hey, that gun choking tornado. All right. This is far enough. You can stop running. Army, we've been looking for a way to rob Cordelia's restaurant without getting caught. I found it. And the blame for the robbery will be square on the swallowtail shoulders of Mr. Homer Hotchkiss. Just acting out that play we see up in Phoenix, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> well, do it out loud. Let me hear it too. <laughs> all right, Pancho, do do this. He's going. And Pancho play all the parts. Go ahead. Uh, here go. Pay the rent. I can pay the rent. Pay the rent. I can pay the rent. Pay the rent. I can pay the rent. I'll pay the rent. Versus. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is very good, Pancho. You imitate all three of those actors we saw very well. Oh, see, maybe Pancho ought to go to be an actor on the stage, too, huh? Come on, <laughs> Jeremy, what is that? Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Where, where is he? Oh, oh Chihuahua. Pancho, not believe what Pancho see. That hombre, he riding on the burro backwards. See, that is it. No, it cannot be. He is tied on that burro and is running away with him. Up there, get on, get on. Go, 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 go. There's a 
I grabbed the fellow's halter. Uh, uh, ah. Bueno, you got him, he's gone. Oh, hold there, hold there. Ho, 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 ho,
you start anything here, Cisco, we'll finish it. You yellow skulking hyenas. I am going to throw you out of here. Both of you. That is not a threat. It is a promise. Try it, Cisco. Go ahead. Try it. Try it and collect full payment for the debt I owe you. A pine box. And a burial in Boot Hill. <laughs> We are, Cisco. Take another step and Coke and me will both go for our guns. Well, I need Kittrick. And you too, Coke Jeffords. I ain't gonna have this restaurant of mine shot up by a couple of buzzers. These two are all talk, senora. Like rats, they will not turn to fight unless they are cornered. All talk, huh? Try cornering us and find out. You are going out of here, Malik? <laughs> Oh, Cisco, grab that coyote by the back of the collar and the seat of the pantalone. Oh, let go! Let's go of me, you wall-eyed lizard! Badly. Now, out you go and stay out! Oh, hard spot, Verily, Don Quixote, Cisco, you are a man of your word. Now, Larry McKittred, your turn. Keep away from me, Cisco. You try to do the same thing to me, you're done to coke, I'll kill you. Let me see if you can carry out your threat. Ah, let me go! Let me go! That is what I intend to do. Yeah. Right out in the street! Ah. Oh, the same thing for the other Maverick. Grab him by the back of the collar and the seat of the pantalones and out into the street he goes. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's giving both partners the same treatment. Glad to see you don't show no favoritism, Cisco. <laughs> we'll get you with this, Cisco. And it ain't no threat. It's a promise. The howling of coyotes has more meaning than the barking of those jackals. Oh, if they try anything, Cisco really beat them up. Oh, but depend not alone on the valor and strength of brave Don Cisco. For every man, Don Sancho Panza, has his Achilles heel. Who can what heel? No, 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 Pancho. Senor Homer means every hombre has a weak spot. Oh. No, and them varmints, I'll tell you, Cisco, they won't rest till they get you. And it'll undoubtedly be with a dry gulch or a bullet in the back. <laughs> Where you been for the past hour, Coke? Uh, trying to find out what them buzzards, Homer, Cisco, and Poncho are up to, Laramie. It's been a month since Cisco threw us out of Cordelia's restaurant, and you ain't found out yet. Whatever it is, they're sure keeping it a secret. I gotta know why. You had as much interest in getting at that cash in Cordy's restaurant would have it by now. Stop your belly aching. I got that figured out. Yeah? Yeah. That's part of what took me so long to get back here. Come here. Now, uh, what do you want? I here in my saddlebag. Now, what is it? Can't you tell? It's a pair of fake mustaches, a long black cape, and a high silk hat. The kind that pops open when you hit it. Why, they all belong to that actor Homer Hotchkiss, don't they? How'd you get them? In Homer's hotel room while nobody was looking. Well, how's that junk going to help us rob Cordy of that money? The day being Monday, that restaurant is closed, ain't it? Yeah. This being the end of the month, he's got all that money them cowpokes spent resting in the cash box. It adds up. Of course it does. Now, one of us wears this outfit of Homer's. Busts into the restaurant and helps himself to that cash. That'll be you. Why me? Why not you? Because I'm going to be in the alley next to the general store. Well, what for? Because I can sound an alarm. The store's being robbed. Oh, you're plum local. That'll get me killed. No. It'll bring that big hero, the Cisco Kid, at a dead run to see who's robbing the store. And at the end of that run, he'll be dead. <laughs> Homer, that is wonderful. You shattered every one of those glass bottles. Oh, he do do it again. That Daniel Homer, he turned out to be a dead shot. Thanks, partners. You sure done gave me some good gun learning. <laughs> and you have learned to ride a horse like a true vaquero, Senor Homer. I do not think you will have any trouble getting the hero part in the play. Uh, in faith, sir, it is most generous of you to say so. I mean, your dad blamed Tootin' I won't have no trouble, Cisco, and I got you and Pancho to thank for it. <laughs> oh, you not got to thank us, Senor Homer? <laughs> oh, I mean, Pancho, not, you don't have to thank us, Senor. You, you the good pupil, huh, Cisco? <laughs> no matter what way you say it, Pancho, there has been quite a change in Senor Homer. And it's a change for the better. Hit it, Cisco. I think so. Oh, Pancho thinks so, too. Well, I'm hoping that little girl back in town will be thinking it, too. You mean the widow, Cordelia Brumkin? Yep, Cisco. 
Since you made me get rid of them specs I used to wear, I can see what a pretty filly she is, as well as I can see how to shoot straight. Oh, you mean you, Senor Homer, and Senora Cordina? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Not so fast there, my buckaroo friend, Pajo. I ain't spoke my piece yet to the widow woman. But by the jingle bobs on a pair of Bronx furs, that's just what I'm aiming to do. Well, good for you, Senor Homer. So you are going to ask Senora Frumpkin to be your wife. <laughs> oh, Pancho, not see how that Senora can turn you down, Senor Homer. <laughs> and by thunder, since I want my spurs as a man of action, there ain't no time like right now to be doing it. <laughs> All right, Senor Homer. We will saddle up and ride into town at a high gallop with our six guns blazing so that Senora Corday can see for herself the reformation of Homer Hotchkiss. <laughs> <laughs> Cody ain't over in the restaurant, Coke. I told you, she's right next door in the general store. I saw her going there myself while he was putting on that hat and cake. I hope she don't come out till after I get the money. Stop worrying. Fix that mustache, Laramie. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there. Do I look like Homer now? Look enough like him to make me want to shove you into that horse water and truck. Well, don't try it. I'm on my way. As soon as I come out, you start yelling for Cisco. Get going. I'll draw Cisco out and then I'll kill him. You just leave that to me. Uh, no slip up, pal. Go on, go on. Tend to your part of the deal. Tend to mine, all right. I don't need no one to remind me to put a bullet into Cisco's back. Last of luck. Coming out of the store that way, she's going to spoil this deal. Hey, Cordy. Yeah? Who is it? Oh. What do you want, Coke Devin? I'd like to have a word with you, Cordy. Uh, what you got to say to me? Well, you see, uh, it's, uh, well, it's this way. Laramie and me are sorry for the way we've been acting to Homer Hotchkiss and knowing how you're soft on him. What you trying to say, Coke Jeffords? That we ain't going to pester him no more. We're going to be law-abiding citizens. Oh, go on, you two fool cat. You ain't a fool of nobody. It's just that you're both scared out of your boots for the Cisco kid. Why, no, Cordy, honest. Hey, look over there. You're resting. Uh, it's Homer coming out the back door. Well, how'd he get in there? I know the place is locked. What's he been doing in my restaurant? What in tarnation? It's Cisco, Pancho, and some stranger on a hand. A riding and a shooting like they was on a Texas wing day. Who cares about them at a time like this? Homer! Homer, hot kiss! What you doing there? Hardy, look out! He's got a gun! He's gonna shoot you! Homer, hot kiss! Are you out of your head? Homer! How'd you get up on that horse? And them clothes. Hey, that maverick by the cafe, ain't you? That's somebody robbing the restaurant. It's Cisco now, Coke. Oh, my hand. Uh, Homer, shut the gun out of my hand. How in thunder? I would make this one for you, Homer. Get Jeffers. Hey! He's as good as that, Cisco. Oh, and I don't need no gun to finish you off, Coke Jeffers. Uh, Homer. Homer, what's come over you? Why, you lily-livered excuse, friend. Ask her. I'll put a finish to your act. Oh, you sly coyote. Uh, you come to the finish of this fight uh, right now. Uh, Homer! Homer, hush kiss. You've knocked him out. He's <laughs> in your cordy. He do do the that senior Homer. He one rough dog, hombre. <laughs> I'm going like to do it. Prato, get over there with your partner. All right. All right, Cisco. Don't hit me no more. Uh, you wall-eyed maverick. I owe you the same kind of beating I gave your partner. Why, Homer? Oh, my heart, Don't you never speak to me again. Well, what the matter with her? I do not know yet. But we'll find out as soon as we put these two mavericks behind bars. This good food what Senor Corday make. Oh, it's delicious. The appetite has flown on wings of sorrow. Ah, oh, woe is me. Woe is me. The slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. That is it, Senor Homer. That has to be the answer. What? What, what has to be the answer, Cisco? To the reason Senor Corday will have nothing to do with Senor Homer. 
she fell in love with an hombre who was an actor, a poet, and a gentleman. Ah, uh, yes. You mean she doesn't like my cowboy hero character? Well, <laughs> I am afraid not. She sees that around here every day. <laughs> oh, gee. Hey, hey, that got to be, Senor Homer. You go ahead. You be like you used to be. See, si. Pancho bet you that there will soon be wedding better if you be like you used to be. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell that hombre with you that there's apple pie for dessert. I ain't talking to him. Now, now, senor. Huh? Go on. Go on. Now, now, now he's your chance. Oh, speak to me, fair Cordelia, fair Juliet. For a rose by any other name could smell no sweeter. Oh, Homer. <laughs> Homer hot. Yeah. <laughs> you see, say you're Homer. <laughs> it worked, it worked. <laughs> oh, now, say you're Homer. Pancho going to borrow that long black cape and the high silk hat and dress up for the wedding. <laughs> well, he hasn't asked me yet, Pancho. <laughs> oh, oh, here, here on bended knee, love of my life, do I beg of you to be my wife. <laughs> but sure enough, Homer. There's nothing I'd like better than for you and me to get hitched. <laughs> but you, you won't have to be an actor no more. We'll stay right here in Cottonwood and run this here cafe in a gentleman's way. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your heart desires, my little pigeon. <laughs> Senor Homer, this big black cable, it looked good on Pancho. And this open up and, and close up I had. Oh, pop it open up. <laughs> oh, it looks good on Pancho, too. And now Pancho acts for you all the parts of the wedding. <clears throat> you take this woman. I do. You take this man. I do. Then I now pronounce you heat. <laughs> <laughs> Pancho. Pancho glad Senor Cordy and Senor Homer, they, they married and then they happy now. Si. Si. And the Senora is also happy that Senor Homer will no longer be an actor. Si. Hey, Senor Homer, he, he glad about that too. He, he, he tell Pancho. He did? Yes. Si. Well, uh, what did he tell you, Pancho? Well, one time, Senor Homer, he, he in the play called uh, Romeo and, and Juliet. Oh, see, si, see. Si. He played the part of Romeo. See, si, see. Si. Well, uh, he slipped and he, he fall off of the balcony. Oh, that was embarrassing. I suppose the audience was disappointed? Gee, they very disappointed. They disappointed because he able to get up and go on with the play. Oh, Pancho! Happy <laughs> 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 Francisco Kid comes to you through the facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. Thank you.